All right, let's play the Sicilian again. Um, closed variation. Yeah, G6, Knight C6, the normal way. Let's play. It's a bit different. Ah, he switches to the um, Grand Prix, which I think is a good option once a black, um, you know, played uh, the E6 move. So this can become quite dangerous um, for black. Although I, I don't know if if uh, taking on d5 is uh, the best move, but you, ah, I think I remember it. Hmm, I don't know if, if it's really uh, that good for for white. The queen on e2. Hmm. Let's castle very quickly, and then maybe uh, bishop g4, and knight d4 is an also a threat. Okay, knight d4 is not a threat anymore. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, okay, let's castle. And uh, the knight on e5 is a bit annoying. So maybe I should exchange the knight. Bishop g4. Maybe I can also tr play something like d4 and use a square d5 for my knight. Uh, bishop f5 threatening to take on c2 and then um, yeah I like the idea to to go with my knight to um, d5 Okay, let's provoke him. Maybe he plays b3, which would be very bad, because then all these black squares are very good for me. Yeah, so this worked quite good. And yeah, should I kick the knight later away with f5? Hmm. Yeah, this is a question. I mean, his knight would be good on e5, so bishop g4 is also an option, just to get rid of this knight. Um, well, I can play h6 and f5. Although I don't like weakening here my king pos kingside position that much. Um, Hmm. Yeah, it's tricky. I think I um I don't like him to play knight e5. This is why I play bishop f5 first. Uh bishop g4. So let's take here. And now maybe f5. Just to put this pawn here on f4, that this bishop is locked in. You know, you, you can see that this bishop has not a bright future now at the moment. Um, there are not many squares you can go to, and it also needs to protect e3 because my knight can always jump to e3 when this bishop is not protecting e3 anymore. And um, yeah. Um 
here and then maybe fighting for the e file queen f6 I can play g6 later on uh, as well and he also needs to protect f4 so g6 his queen doesn't have many squares um, if I play rook e8 I already threatened to play bishop f8 queen g5 even better would be a knight here on f7 but how do I get the knight to f7 it takes, uh, it takes too much time Yeah, well, but okay. His queen is a bit stranded on h6. One thirty, okay. Yeah, most of his uh, light pieces, so the knight and the bishop, are not very good placed or well placed. Uh, this knight cannot move to many squares, and his bishop as well. And uh, this knight is much much stronger than those two two pieces. And I also prefer the, uh, this bishop versus the other bishop because, I mean, I attack f four. Um, maybe I should th just, you know, exchange queens also. Um, well, I could have played <laughs> um, here, this is, ah, okay, he pr just protected it. I mean, um, no. E3, knight E2, well how to proceed, you know what, I really like um, to exchange queens and then put my bishop back on D6, because I, uh, I now threaten to enter on e2 with my rook and this is really dangerous for him so eight uh, 58 seconds that should be okay yeah and what does he want to do now what about knight c3 and if he takes I take back and threaten rook e3 and he can't move the, the king to h3 because it's still the same threat so I think this wins I mean also yeah so and what does he want to do now So we have checkmated him. So I think this game was all about um, good light squares, uh, uh, light pieces with bad ones, because um, in this position, um, I mean the, the the bishop on d2 is not a good piece. It's locked in. 
and doesn't have many squares so I don't want him to play f5 later on I mean there would be ideas that he could maybe move his uh, uh, knight and, and, and uh, to e5 also so this knight is a good knight on f3 and I thought that my bishop uh, should exchange against his knight this is why I played this and after f5 and knight g3 also the knight on g3 is stranded so I have very nice pieces, light pieces this knight and the bishop whereas white has two bad pieces and this is also why I was not afraid of exchanging uh, the queens here because the end game should be m much better for me it's much easier to play and um, here I even I wasted a tempo with the bishop just to get rid of the queen and you also use this nice uh, um, pin here so um, yeah I think white is in, in, in deep trouble and whenever um, I exchange also this um, bishop here um, um, these pawns will fall apart so I could um, I mean if uh, let's say he moves his rook to e1 and exchange even the rooks um, then I uh, could uh, um, enter with a uh, bishop maybe here on, on f uh, f4 also so all my pieces you know penetrate uh, um, on, on the white side and my king is also much uh, closer to the game um, yeah so try to improve the position of your uh, light pieces and if you have good squares it's always better than if you have pieces that don't have so many squares to move to like this knight here if you look at the position the only square the, the knight can move to if there was not a, uh, a pin would be h1 so this is not a lot and uh, also uh, this bishop here just has very very few squares and it doesn't make sense at all if the bishop is on a5 thanks for watching